The next button along our main toolbar is the Find Actors button. And this opens up the Search for Actors window, which is kind of like an integrated search engine allowing you to quickly find any actor that you've placed inside your level using its name. Now, if we start off a search, just as an example, for light, what we're going to get is the result of searching for the word light as the starting object. So in this case, we're starting with the word light. We can also switch to containing, and we'll grab any object whose name contains light. Now, we don't have to just search for name. If we grab the drop down here, we can search the uh, level, so what level it happens to be in any group, its path name, its tag. And you can see all of that information broken down here inside the list of results. So for instance, we could grab point light 12, and once we've made a selection, we can delete the object if we want to, which I'm not going to do in this case. We can open up its properties if we want to make any changes to it. So I could maybe come into the light's properties and maybe change its radius or change its color, for instance. Or I can go right to that object if I need to know where it is. Now I'm going to kind of slide the window up here and out of the way. We can see the light over here on the right-hand side of the screen, but if I click Go To, it's going to jump the viewport right over to it. Now occasionally, depending on the layout of your level, you'll click Go To, and Go To is just going to move the camera. It's not going to rotate the camera around, so sometimes you might be behind a wall or stuck inside of a static mesh when you actually jump to an object. A quick workaround if you uh, can kind of train your brain to use it if that ever happens. Let's say maybe we, we click Go To, and let's make sure I have the proper light selected. So let's grab 12 and click Go To again. And now check it out. We get nothing because I'm on the far side of the wall. If this happens, hold down the L key, which activates your Maya style uh, rotation for your camera, and then just drag with the left mouse button, and you can tumble around that object. So it's just a, a quick trick that might help you out if you ever get stuck behind an object when using GoTo. And then finally, of course, you can close the window. So that's just a quick rundown of search for actors. It's, again, just a way for you to be able to find any actor that you've placed in your level through a variety of search criteria. And that will wrap things up for this video. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>